Bartholomew's Song is a short film that takes place in a dystopian reality, where people are identified by numbers and follow loudspeaker instructions which tell them the two simple steps it takes to make a door stop. The film follows one Bartholomew 467, whose routine is interrupted on his way back to his quarters when he discovers a tape player. He turns it on only to discover that it plays beautiful music. This music inspires him to break from his life of monotony and share his newfound passion with the other Bartholomews, no matter what the costs. The first thing that becomes evident in Bartholomew's song is the putridly bland color palette. The actors with their starch white shoes and shirts, not to mention those hellish off-white pants, blend right in with a decaying, once-perfect dystopian complex around them that despite all the gunk still manages to come off as sterile. In fact, the first breath of warm tonality we see as the audience comes more than a quarter of the way through the narrative and lasts for about half a second. I am speaking, of course, of when Bartholomew 467 turns on the fateful music box, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The second thing that becomes evident is the dreadful monotony of these automatonic humans who can't even put together their umpteenth doorstop without drearily calm step-by-step -step instructions. The typical monotony of the day-to-day -day lives of the Bartholomews is practically beaten into the viewer in the first 30 seconds before the title through a repetition of five static shots. The most exciting thing that happens is when the occasional doorstop is defective and Bartholomew 467 carries out the task of taking it to a separate room and slicing it with a knife before mechanically wiping the knife and disposing of the block. While I've seen many argue that the most important shot of this sequence is the wiping of the knife, spoiler alert, later on there's a parallel shot that includes blood. I think the most poignant aspect of the disposal room is the marks left on the table where the defective doorstops and the knife used to slice them in twain have been placed so often that they have somehow left stains. With how seldom this seems to happen, it has to have occurred an ungodly amount of times for such stains to have accrued. And as I said before, while the place is obviously in decay, it is still somehow sterile and obviously well kept. For such stains to exist with such upkeep is harrowing to think about. And this is the main point I want to get at. Later on, once the fateful music box breaks Bart 467 out of his doorstop producing reverie, this is evidenced by the fact that he starts assembling the doorstops faster and faster. I'd argue not because he suddenly knows how to do it, he's been doing it for a while, but because the music has given him a reason to do it faster than the instructions tell him to do so. Once the fateful music box convinces Bart to kill Marth, which I can only assume is short for Marth, all of you? Also, remember the blood on the knife? Yeah, that's this part. All that really happens is Bart 467 gets dragged away and immediately replaced by Bart 468. Mart 200-something gets dragged out and immediately replaced by Bart 200-something plus one. That's right. 200-something Marthas have been presumably killed by rogue Barthas, but no matter. There's another right there to take its place. And all this replacing of machine people goes off without a hitch. Remember how the stains showed that the defective doorstops have been getting nixed for, for goddamn ever? Well, this bit right here shows that the defective Barthas and Marthas have been getting nixed for quite a while too. So when it zooms in on Bartholomew 584, aka the first non-static shot of the film, and the music plays showing us he too may be breaking from his doorstop making reverie, he's just another in a long line of defective Bartholomews and is probably just gonna get replaced too. Oh, there's also some beautiful parallels between the speakers on the music box and the speakers on the assembly room. Honestly, the moment of Bart laying down with his head perfectly masked by the music box and its speakers is simply gorgeous. Not to mention great foreshadowing of him taking control of the speakers later on in the film. Anyway, that's my vlog on Bartholomew's song. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.